Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of John Amos Archives right here on YouTube. Um, now, normally I'm dedicated to my sports fans here with my Philadelphia Eagles videos and my New York Mets videos, but um, you know, I've been saying lately that I'm going to branch out and I'm going to start doing some other stuff. I do have a pretty cool Barack Obama uh, video that I've been mixing up. I kind of messed it up yesterday. I've been, I've been working on it. It's taken me a little, a little while. That being said, the video that I'm about to do is going to confuse some of my uh, subscribers. Um, I'm not doing this video to branch out. I am, I'm actually doing this video because I would have done it either way. Um, seen some things out there that have been kind of pissing me off lately. Um, and I wanted to kind of throw this out there. For those who don't know, uh, John Ammo is uh, a wrestling, professional wrestling fan. Yes, he does realize that the the events that take place in the squared circle are in fact staged but make no mistake about it uh... some wrestlers in the uh... country are <clears throat> amongst the highest quality athletes in the uh... in the world and they have a very tough job that being said uh... there was an incident um, in the federation called the iwa um, i'm going to provide a link for all those to see Basically what happened, first of all, let me describe what the IWA is. The IWA is this mid-south, sloppy, disgusting, uh, professional wrestling organization that likes to promote extreme rules. <laughs> I mean, you guys should see this video. It's a video of about 150 people in some backwater, Mississippi, Oklahoma-looking town. They're all considerably overweight they got their Milwaukee Brewer shirts on and they set, set up at this bowling alley for this backyard wrestling match right now keep in mind you're talking to somebody from New Jersey Philadelphia area a person who actually grew up with ECW I watched Shane Douglas the franchise win a title in 1995 for the first time I watched Taz win the belt over to Mike Awesome to the Dudleys to the Gangsters to uh, anybody that you can name that wants the Sandman, Mikey Whipwreck, Bam Bam Bigelow. I used to go to the ECW arena at the bingo hall and I used to watch these people. And I used to watch the Extreme Rules. But you know what? Even though these matches were extreme, they had a point. There was a story there. It told a beginning. It told an ending. It had a middle. It was a feud. And, and they were great. It was something worth watching. What I witnessed at this IWA Mike Levy versus Mickey Knuckles incident was absolutely atrocious, outrageous, unprofessional, and these people should be held criminally, criminally um, uh, responsible for their actions. Um, for those who don't know, who haven't seen this, let me just reiterate exactly what happened. So here you have this guy, he's, he's talking a little bit of smack on the internet. His name is uh, Mike Levy, a total jobber, probably wrestled a couple times in his life. He's terrible. He has no in-ring training, right? Yet they got this guy, uh, Ian Rotten, the Rottens. And it, for those who don't know the Rottens, they run the IWA. These guys have absolutely no wrestling talent. They're the two biggest, fattest, inbreed, uh, hick, uh, uh, sleep with your sister, redneck slobs. They got this federation in the in the in the uh, in the Midwest. They throw this guy who has no professional experience in the ring with uh, this brute Mickey Knuckles, who broke her femur bone uh, about a couple weeks after that. Who I'd like to go on record saying, Mickey Knuckles, you you deserve to break your femur bone. Karma is a bitch. I hope your career is over. Anyway, they throw this guy in the ring with Mickey Knuckles, who has no experience, right? So, supposedly, the defenders of the IWA and Mickey Knuckles say, he starts stiffing her first. Wait a minute, he starts stiffing her first. The very first hit of the match, she clocks him on the side of the head as hard as she could with his right arm. He doesn't know any better, so he starts clocking her back, you know? And she's getting mad, so she, you know, so the, the hits are getting more and more ferocious. And it's like... What did you expect by putting this 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 complete disaster in the ring with her, right? So then I was watching a couple other videos out there, and the the battles going back and forth, the shots are getting stiffer and stiffer, 
and it's getting more and more ridiculous, and I cannot believe this kid, uh, Mike Levy, is taking the beating that he's taking. Yes, he's annoying. Yes, he's a fat slob. Yes, he has no business doing being in the ring. Does that give you the right to, uh, to, uh, to assault the guy? So after the match is over... Right? These two guys come to the ring. This one guy, uh, Devin Storm, this skinny son of a bitch who if I saw in real life, I would backslam, I'd backhand right across his cheek. And this other fat, fucking disgusting slob, right? And they just, they go on and they proceed to actually put this guy's head on a ladder and curb stomp him from the second and the top rope. I saw a comment out there by, by some idiot supporting the IWA South saying, Oh, that wasn't a real wrestling beating. For anybody who knows wrestling beatings, do you remember the mass transit incident with New Jack? Yeah, as a matter of fact, dick face, I do remember the mass transit in incident with New Jack. And that wasn't nearly as bad as that. Let me let me clarify. The mass transit transit incident with New Jack, the worst injury this guy suffered was a cut to his forehead, which was immediately um, being uh, um, worked on by paramedics. This guy could have broken his neck, you could have broken his back, you could have broken his face, you could have d done so much damage with your irresponsible, over-the-top curb stomps, right? And then after they're done with the curb stomps, the, bat the, 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 the berating is still not over. Uh, fat, slob, disgusting promoter uh, Ian Rotten comes out, berates the guy some more while he's down the ground, can't move, kicks him some more, gets his 12-year-old son involved in the action who starts hitting him with the cane too with the kendo stick too bitch i wish i would see your 12 year old son in real life i'll take a kendo stick and shove it so far up his ass he won't know where it begins and where it ends you fucking assholes so now you have all these people these fat disgusting slobs in the iwa their fans actually coming out and supporting this madness saying that Oh, this guy should have knew his role. This guy shouldn't have uh, take. You know, this guy should have sold. First of all, first of all, you're right. He should have sold, and he didn't know anything about the business, so he didn't know what the hell selling was. But let's not confuse the issue. The guy never had a chance to sell. You fucking liar. You you watch Mickey. She uh, announces. He announces the the uh, Mike Levy's name immediately. She clocks him with a, a glass. He falls down. He gives. She gives him the three stiffest shots right to the side of the face. You know what? You got a bump on your head, Mickey. You deserved it because you fucking headbutt the shit out of him. You know, again, people, I hate to say karma is a motherfucker. I hate to say karma is a bitch. But you know what? What goes around just keeps on going, baby. It just keeps on going. And while you think you got away with something at the time, Mickey Knuckles, your broken femur bone, it's coming right back at you. You know, this is not, um, this is not a, a tit for tat. You do, you, you know, this is not an initiation. You didn't, you don't have the right to go out there and almost kill somebody like that. So, you know, again, all you fat, disgusting Milwaukee brewer, Brett Favre liking, uh, barbecue eating, redneck, beer swelling, IWA slobs out there. Let me make this abundantly clear. I'm from New Jersey, baby. You see this? I'm from the East Coast. I grew up in the land of extreme. ECW. 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 Where we were extreme, but we told stories at the same time. You guys are nothing but a bunch of backwater, jobber, no production skills, and your federation is run by a fat, disgusting, evil, sloppy promoter who I'd love to see in real life because I put him on my barbecue and roast him like the fat pig that he is. This is John Ammo coming to you from the archives. I know you guys weren't expecting it. Look up the Mike Levy incident. You'll see what I'm talking about. Peace.